Let's talk about thyroid cancer in GLP-1 medications like Wegovy or Manjaro. Do these medications cause thyroid cancer? And I specifically want to address the French study that came out in November of 2022 that's raised some concerns about an increased risk of all thyroid cancer and medullary thyroid cancer with the use of GLP-1 medications. Well, let's break it down and see how worried we should be about these findings. I'm Dr. Leonid Kim, board certified in obesity and internal medicine, and here are my thoughts. This study was a nested case control analysis performed using the French National Healthcare System database that looked at the incidence of thyroid cancer in people with diabetes who took GLP-1 medications for at least three years and compared it to people who did not have exposure to GLP-1 medications. Their results showed a slightly higher incidence of all thyroid cancers, as well as increased incidence in medullary thyroid cancers, which is the type of cancer we've seen in rodents with long-term exposure to GLP-1. So what does this mean and how worried should we be about these results? First thing to note is that they only saw 2,500 cases of thyroid cancer out of 3.7 million people studied or a very tiny 0.07% incidence. So extremely low numbers of thyroid cancer. And when you're dealing with such small numbers, the incidence may appear as a signal where there is none, which is why it's so hard to draw any conclusions from this study. I'm not saying dismiss the findings, but the absolute numbers are still very small and very hard to interpret. I also wanna emphasize that we can only infer association and not causation based on this study. Another thing that doesn't make sense in this paper is the odds ratio for thyroid cancer in the group exposed to GLP-1 drug for more than three years is less than that of the group that used it for less than three years, which doesn't make sense as the results should be cumulative and you would expect the results to be higher in year three. So how do I discuss this with my patients? Well, the study is worth noting, but it's all about risk versus benefit. There may be an increased risk of thyroid cancer and specifically medullary thyroid cancer, which is very rare. But in most people, the benefits of improved diabetes control and weight loss far outweigh any risk. Can these drugs cause thyroid cancer? Maybe, and we should always discuss it. But having obesity also puts us at an increased risk for at least 13 types of cancers that are much more common than thyroid cancer, which incidentally is also more common in people suffering from obesity. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.